welcome to Violet's Other Z. Violet here, and today I am looking at none other than Madonna 2012 Super Bowl halftime show. I'm excited for this because I've seen some of Madonna's performances now. I have seen one for Vogue, I have seen one for Express Yourself, I believe, and they were epic. She had clear theme, she had amazing choreographers, she had amazing outfits, she just had everything except a slice of bread like she got everything so for a halftime super bowl show i'm scared to see what she's gonna have for this before we get into this i'd like to give a big shout out to the youtube channel max literal that is with two t's on his channel you'll find videos on life tips and tricks reviews and tutorials with frequent uploads so if you're interested in receiving some life tips and tricks and reviews and tutorials you should definitely check out his channel. The link will be in my description box below. With that being said, it's time for some Madonna. I'm so excited for this one, guys. I am ready to be blown away. I feel like my I need to like manage my expectations because they're set high right now. <laughs> Madonna's concert. <laughs> Presents Madonna's concert. Yep, she she's already going all out. She got a whole gladiator theme going on. It's Vogue. Yeah, this is elaborate, guys. This is looking very elaborate. This is definitely halftime show worthy. <laughs> chair already I am loving this costume design guys look at those heels look at that headpiece look at that throne look at that cape bedazzle look at that guy's footwork my ankles could never. That flip was sick. No, that guy was killing it. His ankles did not roll once. If I try even a quarter of that, my ankle would be like, <laughs> you tried it, ho. Huh? magazine take in all their outfits are all different all their costumes some costume designer went and made a different costume for each person and they're all sick those could all be Madonna's costumes that's how good they all are like you know how usually the celebrity or the artist is the person wearing the best costume Loki yeah all those could be a costume that Madonna was wearing that's how good they each are Oh. Magazine. I love the outfit she has on. Ooh! Guys, the choreography is so elaborate, but they're doing it so flawlessly that you don't realize how much thought goes into everything they're doing i feel like at least they're killing it the, like what no the crowd must have been shook i don't care if you're madonna fan or not that is shooketh worth worthy <laughs> make it make sense every detail the costume designers the choreographers blew it out of the water. <laughs> the person in, in charge of stage design did an amazing job. Everything is thought out properly. That's so cool. I love this kind of stuff. Music. I know this. Oh, 
I just saw a peek of her underwear. <laughs> These people have amazing balance. Oh, I saw that! Wait, guys, do you see that? She kind of almost lost her balance. Well, she did lose her balance. Look at this. She lost her balance! Guys, Madonna is human after all. She's not an alien. <laughs> Sometimes you have to check, you know what I mean? You have to check with Beyonce, you have to check with Madonna, you have to check with Michael Jackson. They might be aliens. You never know. And she's doing this all in heels. Even on a night out, I can't walk in heels. And this woman is doing a whole show production in heels. <laughs> These guys are fully working out. Wait. I was so confused. I'm like, am I seeing this guy floating in the air? I was so confused for a minute there. I, I wasn't sure what my eyes were seeing. What is he even doing? What is, what is this? She was like, you ain't forgetting my performance. Not, not on my watch. <laughs> Not on my watch. You're gonna remember it and everyone's gonna have to top this from now on. All you freaking rope walkers, all your b-boys, all of you freaking ankle rollers, come to my performance because I'm putting on a performance of a lifetime and I need to show out. No expenses were spared <laughs> in the making of this production. Her knees, ooh, those Madonna knees are strong. That's so sick. Holy shit. Isn't that 303? Isn't him 303? This was when Party Rock was a thing. Oh my gosh. Every day I'm shuffling. Oh, they put on a show. Ah, Madonna is shuffling in heels. Guys, take this in. Shuffle and shuffle and oh. Oh my gosh, guys. This is when they were big. Is the name 303? Nah. Nah, it's, it's bugging me. Their name is... LMFAO! Oh, not 303. I think 303 is she wanna kiss me oh, she wanna love me. I'm not sure. Anyways, LMFAO. I remember, I remember. What is Madonna doing? What? She's like in such good control of her body. Oh, he didn't do it. He didn't get it in one swipe. and Nicki Minaj. What? Okay, I didn't know all this was gonna happen. I did not know all this was gonna happen. Look at Nicki Minaj. I remember that 2012 Nicki Minaj. Yeah, I don't know the song, but I'm feeling it. <laughs> what? How did I know the song? The one I know from recently that she's done is Bitcha Madonna. I know that one, but I don't know this one. Oh my gosh. M-I-A. They all have M's in their names. M.I.A. Nicki Minaj, Madonna. I wonder if they did that on purpose. So the M can stand for all three of them. The M can stand for all three of them. All three of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. That was 
adorable. Where was I? I didn't even, like, where was I in 2012? <laughs> Okay, now this is just giving me Beyonce uh, Coachella vibes <laughs> with the stairs. It's really giving me Beyonce vibes. Wow, we. This guy looks like he came to for a war. This is sick. No, she. Who's that, guys? Who that? Wait, who is that? I thought it was just part of the band, but Uncle's out here singing. Sanging. And he is singing well. Who is that? Am I not seeing them properly? This is sick how the floor is like vibrating to the music. That's sick. That's a sick touch. He kind of sounds like um, Gnarus Barkley. What's the the, the Gnarus Barkley? Oh, CeeLo Green. He is that CeeLo Green? It might be, but I don't know if it is. He kind of sounds like him. He doesn't look like him. This floor work is so sick. Whoever is doing the production, kudos to you. And I love how the performance has very different vibes, like. Guys. It is Gnarus Barkley. Okay, okay. I, I was right. I was right. I'm not Gnarus. CeeLo Green. Guys, she gave us different vibes. At the beginning, she gave us Gladiator. In the middle, she gave us 2012 techno house music LMFAO vibes. She gave us some cheerleaders. Cheerleader, holla back girl, Gwen Stefani vibes. She gave us drums. That reminded me of Beyonce Coachella. <laughs> it really gave me strong Beyonce Coachella vibes. Obviously, this happened before that. But anyways, yeah. And now she's giving us church she is taking us to church, guys. They asked Madonna, what theme do you want for this halftime show? And she said, yes. <laughs> like a prayer, yes. I couldn't remember the name of the song for a minute. I think this like a prayer song now listening to it live <clears throat> with all the other songs I think this is my favorite Madonna song apart from material girl <laughs> I love the song like I actually like it a lot I'm just noticing it sometimes you have to listen to songs live the dream to me. she's even on the ground like she was in the music video Reenactment. Dream to me. Where is the little green? Is he just producing now or what is he doing? I love this part of it. world peace that's kind of cheesy <laughs> that's a little bit cheesy obviously i agree with the sentiment but a bit cheesy just a bit but that ending of her just disappearing into the abyss 
that was sick guys she brought something for everyone if you're not a fan of madonna after watching that video or being there in person that might have been wild actually to be there in person if you aren't a fan of her after that i don't know i don't know how to help you i don't know how to help you she brought something for everyone she's like you got some entertainment you got some entertainment you got some entertainment everybody got some entertainment that night she killed it in honesty I wasn't expecting that much. Like I wasn't, I was expecting a lot, but I wasn't expecting that much. Her production team, whoever had a hand in making that whole performance, blew it out of the water. <laughs> she blew it out of the water. It was nowhere in sight. Legend is to this day, we're still looking for where it was blown to. <laughs> that was really good. I was not expecting that much. I was expecting much, not that much. Out of that one performance, I'm pretty sure a lot of artists can pick up on little things here and there and be like, oh, I want to do that, but I'm going to rework it this way and just get inspiration from that because so much happened just now. It was just a lot. I feel bad for whoever had to follow her up after that. Let me see. Who did the 2013 halftime show? Oh, it was Beyonce. Well, <laughs> I mean, Beyonce is an amazing performer in her own right. So, um, yeah, I need to watch Beyonce's halftime show again. If anyone can follow it up and not crash and burn after that performance, it is Beyonce. So, okay, so I want to see what people are saying about this because that was, that was a lot. Truly an immaculate performance. That is the word to use. Yes, immaculate. Enjoy her while we have her. There will never be another artist like her. She is a trailblazer, and yes, we should enjoy her. She should get her flowers while they still, while she's still alive, and they're still blooming, and however the saying goes, <laughs> she should get her flowers right now because she deserves to smell them. She paved the way for your fave, so give her her flowers. I don't care if she's a great vocalist or not. She is pure entertainment. She is pure art. She is pure performance. And honestly, guys, like, I don't know what people are talking about that she doesn't have good vocals. She sounds fine to me. She sounds like, she sounds better than fine. She sounds good. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of my favorite people that I can think of that are artists is not necessarily their voices that come in mind when I think about why I like them. It's usually the performances, the beats to the song, the way their song makes me feel, their persona. There's much more to artistry or being a singer than just singing. She is very artistic. She is an amazing performance performer and she is definitely entertaining and last i checked that's what i want all people want is entertainment you know no one's trying to be freaking selling john like <laughs> calm down epic performance there will never be another madonna michael jackson whitney houston or prince and there shouldn't be people should maybe take inspiration from them but they should strive to be their own self and maybe one day someone will be saying there'll never be another kiki <laughs> Or whatever so um yeah with that being said guys uh this is a long video this is long i'm sorry if you made it to this point thank you so much it means a lot to me because i can only imagine how long this is going to take me to edit so uh maybe not maybe not but if you like this video give it a thumbs up it really 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 helps me out with the youtube algorithm youtube loves when people like videos so if you don't mind liking and commenting leaving me a little heart in the comment section below or something that would be amazing and if you haven't already consider subscribing to my channel and clicking that notification bell i checked my analytics guys this is how much people watch my videos and this is how much people are subscribed let's change that that ratio is just looking very sad so um if you aren't subscribed consider subscribing to my channel you're gonna watch my videos i'm gonna have more of these coming out you're gonna want to see them so click that notification bell as well and I will see you in the next video. Have a good day or night or afternoon and stay safe and, you know, kill it in life. <laughs> and with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.